Welcome back to the After Hours Gaming League. It is match two between Facebook and Google. I'm day nine. Let's jump right into things and see if there's a way that we can have our friends at good old Google end up winning in game number two to tie it up, or whether Facebook will be able to take the lead 2 0. In the bottom right, we have Nexus1 from Team Google. He will be the Terran player today. And when asked how he prepares for this tournament, he says he 3v3s with gold and platinum players so that when they die, he has to 1v3, and that's how he gets his fix. In the bottom left, we have John Oldman from Team Facebook who says that he wrote an algorithm that he calculated and determined that Facebook would be the winners of the league, but unfortunately he didn't have time to debug the code. So we're just going to have to trust that result. John Oldman now sending the Overlord to the bottom right position to try to check, check, check if his opponent's going to be there. Map is going to be Shakura's Plateau, and as we can see, it is horizontal positions, the infamous horizontal positions, and the big threat for a lot of Zerg players is this space right here. Tank Marine dropping and slowly hopping their way into the main. It's a large threat, but at the same time, if the Zerg knocks down these destructible rocks, he can get a good, solid contain up. Spawning pool en route for John Oldman. We see one drone for John heading out to the right. Now, interestingly, John's first name is Barak, so I'm not entirely uh, sure why I'll be calling him John for the remainder of the game. Could go with him on a first name basis, but I have that level of respect. John is going to be checking the top right position, but the instant that he sees it, that one command center is there. He will be pulling back immediately. Wow, look at that reaction time. Instantly snapping back with that Overlord so it does not die. Nexus 1 will be constructing an orbital command and a Marine. Not getting any of his gas geysers, though, as he does not want to get in the way of his early expand. The early no gas is always a big signal that the fast expo is en route, and it looks like John Oldman has the same read. He's going to take a fast expansion himself, so that way he does not fall behind. His spawning pool is done. Overlord gets a hatch and hatch, and there is the queen popping out. And it will, of course, be followed by a whole slew of various units. It looks like he's going to be beginning with some drones. Doesn't want to over-zergling it. He does have that information that he doesn't see any gas geysers at this point in time is sneaking that Overlord around back to get confirmation from that. We can see that he wants to rally back to the other side. More Marines en route. Very soon we're going to see Nexus 1 construct himself a command center in the top left. Nexus 1 from Team Google, you jerk! Hide your command center? Oh, it's the second game of the series, man, but that's fine. Looks like he wants to go for a little bit of the risky strat, and look at this. John Oldman checking the left, checking around with those Zerglings, wants to make sure that there is no proxy structures going down, such as a hidden factory or hidden barracks or any sort of early attack, but no, 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 no. <laughs> Looks like it's the early double command center. Now, in general, if you are a high-level player, you're going to scout this and say, something's fishy. He's getting a really late command center. But it is entirely possible that John Oldman's going to scout the top, see the Lake Command Center, and just say, wow, this guy's really bad at StarCraft 2. Looks like John Oldman wants to try to run up and kill off a Marine or two, but no, the stutter step control of the Google Terran going to be enough. Meanwhile, the Google Terran being the biggest jerk ever. Look at this. We are at 5 minutes and 18 seconds, and the Terran has already out-expanded the Zerg. The Facebook Zerg is going to have to find some way to recoup and wow you know I don't blame John Oldman he scouted uh, his opponent he saw a couple Marines on a really late Nexus he saw thought that something was up and upon losing all those Marines excuse me immediately upon losing those Zerglings thought gosh I better get some defense up I don't know what the heck's going on and now we see a very late gas guys are snagged by John Oldman and there is the third orbital command of the game interestingly here is the second hanging out up here at the top left Two bunkers are going down for Nexus 1, so he can be defended against anything that could attack him, because uh, attacking is not what Nexus 1 wants to do. He just wants to keep this sucker alive as long as possible. Down in the Facebook Zerg's base, we see another extractor being added. The third one is up in the main. A Roach Warren popping out right now. And again, I really don't blame John Oldman, because he has such a weird set of information that he's gained. This is a very late expansion. He's seeing a double refinery, or is he? Does he see that? Well, he sees one, and in general, you just don't get refineries that early at your expansion. 
could likely suspect a mech play, and man, John Oldman now getting himself the Zergling speed. Looks like one of the people who was observing the game just really wants everyone to know that there's an expansion up north. Let's see if he is going to alt-click his little heart out as the game continues, and ugh! This is so weird to find this. One of the most reliable pieces of information you always gain in StarCraft II is scouting the front. All your opponent's troops will be there for any defense and a surprise attack. And even if his troops aren't there, you just run your troops by and it will help draw his forces to the front to be ready to defend. And by that counting, by seeing exactly what units are at the front, you can always make a good judgment. If you see a couple of Hellions, aha, he has factory out. If you see tons of infantry, aha, he must have lots of barracks out. But when you see two barracks and nothing else, that is just weird. Nexus won the Google Terran. Taking advantage of it all by building himself a bunch of factories. And look at this top left base. It is already starting to uh, get a good saturation of workers. The extra refineries up. It's going to be a big, big tech-focused play by Nexus 1, who interestingly is keeping up with the Zerg in terms of worker count. Very uncommon. Another factory. It's going to be Mech coming out of Nexus 1. Nexus 1 wants to get as many of those Blue Flame Hellions as he can. In the meantime, the poor old Facebook Zerg, John Oldman, doesn't realize how much of a jerk his opponent is. Sneaking an expo at the top. We do see the plus carapace upgrade starting. There is the Spore Crawler. John Oldman really feeling quite confused. And it looks like he's going for the Destiny style of very fast Infester. He's going to skip Banelings. going to skip Mutilus. going to rely on the Fungal Growth and the Infested Terrans. Still continuing to queue up those SCVs. All the depots are burrowing, and here's an armory in construction factory out right now. Overseer going to rush on in, and going to be very confused to see this mech mix in the main. Extra factories going down, and again, if you see this at this time, you're just going to think to yourself, man, my opponent must just be bad. In reality, he snuck this extra expansion up here. Brutal spot to be in. There's the plus-plus upgrades on the Zerglings. We see that the Pathogen Glands, the energy upgrade for the Infestors, also under construction. So now Nexus 1 slowly starting to build himself up a Thor Armada, it appears. Queuing up an extra Thor. Wow, getting extra armories up. There's the plus one armor upgrade. This will allow him to do extra defense against the Zerglings and Mutalisks, which is the most common of openings. There's the hatch also under construction at the third, and he still has no idea that this fourth base is down, and in fact a whole bunch of blue flame hellions are in the center of the map for Nexus 1, and it's all going to come down to some really nice neural parasites. Can he snag those Thors? Can he grab all those hellions with fungal growth? And here they are heading up to the top left. Moving up, and it looks like... Whoa, they're going to spot the expansions. They're going to begin working it down. We see a big creep spread coming up for John Oldman. But there's just not that much he can do to defend the expansion because he has only Zerglings at this point. The plus one armor upgrade is done. There's the Neural Parasite going down. The plus one attack nearing completion. It looks like Nexus 1 pulling back and smartly creating a little wall in right here. So if Zerglings do try to engage, they will not be able to surround in the meantime. A lot of Thors getting produced. 1-1 one, one upgrades on the way. A barracks coming. Realizing that he has no place in this game. Going to head back home in shame. And now the Zergling Infestor Force from John Oldman. Starting to move through the center of the map. Nexus 1. Now hanging out here. In the middle of the map. The Google Terran has not really made any large engagements. But we are seeing him slowly pull ahead. We see all the kills on the Nexus 1 side, and look at this, more workers for the Terran, bigger army, that is what you get when you sneak an expansion up that early in the game, and now a fourth base going down for the Terran player, but if you're Zerg, you're going to think that you have your Terran opponent contained, you spotted that he has not taken a third here, you're seeing this, and you're believing that that's the early third, and here comes a Zergling attack by John Oldman, he wants to shut that down, John Oldman actually getting his third up successfully, and now moving through here, we'll be able to take out this command center. Easily going to wrap around it, but I'm very worried about these blue flame hellions that are just calmly awaiting. We see John Oldman starting to pull back. Will he get caught off guard? Uh-oh. Looks like a couple blue flame hellions starting to sneak forward, but no. Looks like the Zerg player from Team Facebook will be able to narrowly escape the clutches. The deaths of the hellions. 
Nexus 1, in the meantime, has just been churning out units, making another barracks with a tech lab. We see there the plus-plus upgrades coming down. We see a Spire getting started, and John Oldman having plenty of defense. There's the Spire, still at plus-one, plus-one, spreading the creep brilliantly through the center of the map. Third base from John Oldman hasn't really gotten the chance to get too saturated. We see five more Infestors popping out, some roast speed, and uh-oh, here come the Blue Flame Hellions, and there's a nice fungal growth, but these Zerglings are going to get cooked alive. No, it looks like John Oldman gets a great surround. Pincers those off, and we'll pull back for the retreat. But holy Thor's Nexus 1. Google overwhelming. Look at the number of Thor's popping out on the map. And ladies and gents, he is maxed. He is coming forward with a 10 Thor army. Has plenty of Hellions to boot. Nexus 1 thinking, why not? I'll just build command centers wherever I damn well please. And this is the one that he is going to enjoy for himself. John Oldman now having plenty of infestors out on the map right now. Looks like Nexus 1 has not yet engaged. We see the plus 1 uh, missile attacks and the plus 2 melee attacks. Aspire now is almost done, but here comes the Thor Force. It is a classic 4v4 style of play. I'm only going to make Thors because, my god, they can shoot everything and they can shoot hard. We see the plus two armor just now finishing. Amazing timing by the Google Terran. And it looks like, oh no, John Oldman still doesn't know about the hidden base. It is nearly even mined out. And there's the scan annihilating all those creep tumors. John Oldman trying to get some roaches up to deal with this Hellion Thor push. He's going to need to get some absolutely brilliant fungal growth. And there he is rushing down, but he's at a bad angle. Getting cooked alive by the Hellions, getting completely roasted. And there's some neural parasites going down. But the Thor army, huge, absolutely steamrolls the Facebook area. Oh, you jerk! You jerk! Dropping the mules. They don't need to be dropped. Everything's at full health. These are smack talk mules. Mules can't attack in battle, but they're just going to participate. The Google Terran putting his team on the map again. They started out down 0-1, and it looks like... He's going to be tying up the series. John Oldman, there's nothing he can do in the unit's lost tab. Holy crap. And it looks like there is the mass ping by an observer in-game to let everybody know. That could quite possibly be the reason that Nexus 1 has so many Thors. And we see Pylons being instructed in the middle of the map. He's already dead. And it looks like John Oldman leaves the game. Uh-oh. A little bit of frustration there. It looks like we don't even see a GG. Could have been on team chat, but it is entirely possible that he had that frustrating finish. The neural parasites didn't work out. But keep in mind that Facebook is not done yet. It is tied up 1-1. We need to go into game three to find out who will bring the series to match point.